but you gon' respect it cause this is West Texas. <gasps> Let's talk about a battle of West Texas and Runnels County on Friday night in our cover one mixed game of the week. All the Rado doing some serious battling to give themselves a chance to win it, but in the end, it was winners who held strong outlasting the Eagles 26 to 20. Well, welcome to week two, folks. I'm Manny Diaz. Coming up, we're not only bringing you the highlights of this barn burner, but giving you an all access pass, doing a little something different for you folks this week. Plus, we can't forget about our sounds of the game, that mighty El Dorado Eagle band doing work. First things first, how about those Chip Cole and Associates Ranch Brokers highlights? Well, one of the best things about small town high school football is how the towns shut down. Winners doing just that on Friday night. Love this shot, courtesy of Justin Porter. Meanwhile, Kevin Covarrubias and the El Dorado Eagles coming off a nice 47-6 win over San Angelo TLCA. Looking for a statement win on Friday night, taking on the Winners Blizzards. Opening possession for winners, can't keep the handle on the rock. Marco Martinez there to recover. Eldo with the ball now, hand off to Santiago Hernandez. This kid with some power, breaking off a nice gain up the middle. A few plays later on second and eight, the QB1 Kevin Covarrubias looking to the corner of the end zone for Cooper Metter, but can't make the grab. Two plays later, Eagles going for it on fourth down. Covarrubias looking for Metter, but no dice. Almost picked. Turnover on downs. Ensuing winner's possession, they give it to Dan Alvarado, who's breaking off a little something something of his own in the Eagles' territory. Later, Alex Salas to Chaney Ballman to move the sticks for a fresh set of downs. That'll do. Second quarter now, a little misdirection pitch to Miguel Rodriguez for the three yard touchdown. Winner strikes first, 6 0. Later, following a defensive stand, El Dorado with an answer. Covarrubias to Cooper Metter for the 87 yard connection, and look at this kid go off to the races. G to the O N E gone. Cooper, how about that pitch and catch? I ran a fade down the sideline. I was wide open. Kevin threw a great ball to me. I had the guy beat for a good touchdown. But the Blizzards would say not so fast. Malachi Kelly takes it in for the six yard touchdown to make it 12 7 Blizzards. After the score, El Dorado head coach Michael Johnson breaking it down. It's going to come down to who wants it more. Does that make sense? Just keep exactly. playing hard. Let's go use our strength and our conditioning to, out, to beat these guys tonight. Everybody understand? Tonight Closing moments of the first half, El Dorado knocking on the door. Kevin to his little brother Corbin, who's just outside the goal line. The ball comes out, but watch Chacon Jersek, who's Johnny on the spot for the Eagles touchdown. Newland ERA, play of the game nominee. Eldo would lead 14-12 at the break. Coach Plato hit the nail on the head right here. You're bigger and stronger and faster than you've ever been. True or false? Start believing that about yourself. They, if, if the times of them not wanting to mess with El Dorado, those are gone. You guys are, have grown up and you guys got a little something special about you. So go play to what you're capable of playing to. Does everybody understand? Third quarter, Eagles with the rock first, but Covarrubias finds the kid in the wrong color uni. Winners takes over. Next Blizzard's possession, they do not waste the takeaway. Pitch to Ethan Sanchez, and he looks like he's headed for Pater. Brought down just a few yards shy of the goal line, would lead to a winner's touchdown to make it 18-14. Next Eldo drive, handoff to Santiago Hernandez for the big gain up the gut deep in the Blizzard's territory. Later in the drive on fourth down, the play breaks down for the Eagles. Covarrubias looking to do something, but can't. Turnover on downs to the fourth quarter we go. Football's about on Friday nights. This is the lessons we learned as men. Let's go overcome this and win this football game in the fourth quarter. Everybody understand? And the Eagles right, working with some newfound momentum, down. forcing the turnover, but it would be short-lived. Under four minutes to go in the game, the Blizzards create some momentum of their own. Houston Esquivel takes it in for the touchdown, giving winners the 26-14 lead. But with an air raid spread offense, a team like El Dorado is never out of it. Covarrubias to Jurasek, who almost breaks it for a touchdown. Very next play, Santiago Hernandez takes it in for six, two-point conversion no good, and it's now 26-20 winners. But the Eagles would have one last chance, closing moments of the game deep from their own territory, perhaps a Cal Stanford-like moment, but uh, not here, and that's all she wrote. Nonetheless, a pretty exciting week two ball game as the winners' blizzards 
hold off El Dorado 26 to 20. The Eagles were never out of it despite falling behind. After the game, El Dorado defensive coordinator William Robledo talked about how this one got away from the Eagles. Uh, we made some adjustments at halftime and it seemed like uh, just missed tackles. We were hitting them behind the line of scrimmage, had some TFL opportunities, just weren't wrapping up. It seemed like every adjustment we made worked to an extent to get us back in, in a chance to, to win the game. Just couldn't pull it off at the end. Now you had a couple opportunities where uh, you, you had some really nice stops, you had some really good moments there where you were starting to gain momentum. What do you think took place and what do you think winners did to adjust uh, for you guys' defense? Uh, technically, I think they took uh, advantage of our, our effort because we were going and pursuing the ball and we over pursued. They caught us with the reverse and that's how they scored. A couple plays like that, those go away, we, we stop them again. What's your, what's your plans for adjusting the defense for week three? Um, just go back to work and watch the film and see what we can do. Well, time for our Newland ERA play of the game. It came right before the end of the first half as Jacon Jurasek was at the right place at the right time to make the grab for the touchdown. It gave the Eagles the lead heading into the locker room. Overall, heck of a play, which is good for this week's Newland ERA play of the game. I'm proud of your effort. You gave yourself a chance to win. But we hurt ourselves. We hurt ourselves. Period. Am I right or am I wrong? And I love everyone here. And we're gonna keep going to battle. But we gotta look at this tape. We gotta get it fixed. I would much rather this happen right now, and if you learn from it, then happen later on down the road in the playoffs. El Dorado head coach Michael Johnson keeping it 100 for his team after the game. Penalties, costly turnovers, and in some cases, the inability to finish truly hurt El Dorado on Friday night. But if anything, you gotta like the direction where this team is headed. Not only are the Eagles believing they can win, but so is the community that's standing right behind them. This most certainly is not the same old El Dorado football program that we've seen from years past. By the looks of things, sure, they still have some growing to do, but this could be a team that reps West Texas deep in the November. Well, it's games like this one that make you love and appreciate the Friday night lights. Although the kids from Slyker County came up on the short end of things, it was no doubt fun to watch, yeah. Well, coming up next week, our Cover One Mix show will be rocking and rolling, hanging out with the Lakeview Chiefs under the Thursday night lights when they host the Snyder Tigers. Then on Friday night with the Wallhawks who welcome Midland Christian to the Concho Valley. A blinged out, iced out pregame for the state champion wall baseball team. Should be good. But before we leave you tonight, how about showing some love to the El Dorado band with the sounds of the game. These kids most definitely deserve some appreciation. <laughs> All right, for the Cover One San Angelo Live crew, I'm Manny Diaz. Good night, God bless, and we'll see you in week three. Fat brotherly love, Kevin Corbin, let's go! <laughs> Take your brother with you. You're created for something special. God values you so much. You go and live that out to your full potential tonight. Have fun, because you only get this memory for a short while. <laughs>